Okay, we start. What are you going to read to us? The color of its own. Okay. The color of its own. The color of its own. I want to read the bottom. Okay. The sad chameleon had a problem. I just like the other had never seen. No color of his own. Changing colors were everything. The red and the white, the green and the the long brown colors, but in the spring, they were gone. He finds that the delight, the light solution. Whoops. A lemon, they're yellow. In the head is their purple. On, and on the tongue, they're striped like tigers. One day, the chameleon was sitting on a tiger's tail, said to himself. If I remain on the leaf, then I will stay green forever. So, I choose. Will have a color of my own. When he saw children climb on the greenest leaf, and then the, when in the autumn the, the clearer, leaves you have to read clearer. Yellow, and so did the chameleon. <laughs> And later the leaf turned red and said the chameleon turned red too. <laughs> and then the wind the winter wind blow, blew the wind, wind from the leaf from the branch and with it the chameleon. You like the word chameleon? <laughs> the chameleon was black in the long winter night. And when the spring hit, he walked out to the reed grass and he and, and then he met another chameleon. He told his sad story to walk and have a cloud his own cat. I'm afraid not, said the other chameleon. That was older and wiser. But he, he added why don't we stay together? We'll still change color wherever we go. But you and I will always be alike. They remain side by side. They're green together. And purple and yellow. And red with purple dot. And they live happily ever after. The end. Wonderful. Awesome, honey. You read the whole book on your own. My mom is coming today. That is a good thing to finish the video with, isn't it? 